Hey guys, welcome to episode 29. Welcome back. We're doing a little auction preview. This week we have the Dallas November 7th to November 10th auction. Uh, there are several different auctions that are taking place. There's an Americana auction. Uh, there is a traditional numismatic auction. Then they're doing a very special one just for the Eric P. Newman collection. This seems interesting. It's not as if there's a coin show and they're setting up a bunch of auctions. Heritage is in Dallas and all these auctions are in Dallas. So it, it seems as if they're just doing kind of a local hotel yeah. scene. Is that sort of what it is? That's what it looks like. There's definitely gonna be a lot of online bidding. Um, and yeah, locally they're probably gonna have a little bit of fanfare going on. I'm sure there's a lot of people um, in the Dallas, Texas area that are big fans of Heritage and, and participate in the auction. So. They'll probably have a little bit of a showing locally. Yeah, so it's an opportunity for the people that live there to kind of go see everything firsthand instead of bidding online. Makes it a little more interesting. I'm sure some coin dealers will be in town as well to, to do some auction lot previews and, and take a look at what Eric had put together here. So this is a kind of a special um, a section of Eric's uh, uh, numismatic catalog, if you will. Um, and they've been auctioning off his coins over, probably over the last six or seven years. Uh, this might be the 10th auction uh, yeah. that his collection has headlined um, over the last six or seven years. Uh, they're down to some of the colonial stuff, um, some of the, um, the early Americana stuff, and uh, I know yeah. we're kind of excited about the, the Continental Dollar. Yeah, such a cool coin. Uh, there's a lot of debate on the Continental Dollar, whether it was struck by the U.S. government or it's considered a colonial issue because the government may have not been formed yet but the owner of the collection, and he is one of the greatest numismatists of our time, Eric Newman, believed it was, in fact, a U.S. government issue because of some paperwork he found That's right. from earlier congressional records. Yeah, he felt it was absolutely was something that should be credited um, as a United States coin. I mean, it was designed by Benjamin Franklin. There's a lot of American imagery and, and, and propaganda on the coin, so yeah. why not? Why yeah. not? It should be an American coin. I agree. I agree. I think it is. So outside of Continental Dollar, uh, there are a few Fujio cents. Fugio, Fugio. I'm not sure how, how the right way to pronounce that. Some people pronounce it a little bit differently. I, I say the soft G. I say Fugio. Fugio, yeah. Just because it sounds funny and I like it. I, I like it too. We'll go with Fugio cent. Which uh, the Continental Currency Dollar is 100 greatest US coin, by the way. Just going back to that real quick. We talked about that book in several of our videos. It's so important because that's what the top experts in the country have voted on as being the most important coins in our industry. And those are the people that are gonna sell your coins. Oh yeah. If you ever sell them, likely. So we wanna own what the experts wanna own if we're investors or if we care about money. So if you're either of those two, Looking at the 100 Greatest U.S. Coins book is of paramount importance. And you really can't go wrong with them. Based on the history, the rarity, and even the, the price points and returns for those coins over the years have been some of the brightest spots in all of numismatics. You really couldn't find a better group or collection of coins to, to invest from or to, or to collect from. Yeah, 800 grand in the 60s is worth over $150 million today. It's pretty tough to find any investment that's done that. Right. Certainly as a conglomerate of coins, that represents the best of the best of what's available in our industry. And this Fujio scent that we're talking about is one of the most affordable coins in the 100 Greatest US Coins book. It absolutely is. And again, it was one that has that similar look and feel to the continental dollar. A lot of American propaganda in it. It has that same sundial, the same mind your business. It kind of has the same same vibe. It, it has 13 concentric rings on the... For the colonies on the back of the coin. One yeah. representing each colony. It also says N. Fesit Fugio. John, do you know what that means? No, what does it mean? Basically means time flies. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah. It. The The talk is that it refers to the fleeting nature of time, but that's just really a, a fancy way to say time flies. It also says mind your business. I love it. And mind your business, of course to us now sounds like a inflammatory statement of, hey, you mind your business. But really what they meant was is handle your affairs. You know, as Americans, don't let things slip, don't let things go, handle your business. And so that's what they really meant by mind your business. Yeah, that, that is a phrase that's attributed to Ben Franklin. He was basically saying, look, the world is looking at us right now as, as a British colony that's rebelling. They already think we're doing the wrong thing. We always we already look rebellious. We already look 
we already look disheveled. We already look like we're maybe not on the right side of history. So let's make sure that in our affairs, in our business right. dealings, the way we live, let's make sure that we're a stellar example of humanity. And it looks like people listened to the coins. I think they did. And what better example of humanity than George Washington, who is uh, at the center of this collection, uh, there are three or four 1792. Are they considered patterns? So we have two cents and two half dollars. These are the same designer as the $10 gold piece. That's right. That was at the previous auction, and I believe that was the World's Fair of Money. It was. If I'm not I, mistaken. I think it was. I sold think it was. for $1.7 million with the same design. These will clearly bring a more modest price as they're smaller denomination and minted in copper and silver. Yeah, the leading coin right now, uh, the finest known of the four, is one of the 50 cent patterns. Uh, that one is currently sitting at 110,000 bid um, on Heritage's website. And they expect to see that coin go up. Exactly. So, got some really cool coins. Even if you're not going to buy anything, just look at the auction. It's fun to watch great Americana like this sell. It's always exciting to see the final hammer and that guy's going and talking it's like a million cool. miles a minute. And, yeah. and, there, and there's more than just coins actually. He has um, some desks in there from original mints, documentation, books, paperwork. Again, it's kind of towards the end of his collection. So all the cool stuff is coming out now. So even if you're not into coins specifically, you, you absolutely have to check it out. There's personal handwritten notes oh, yeah. from Eric Newman about the collections he bought them from. Like we just looked at one note that he purchased one of those Washington coins from the newcomer collection, a, a very famous uh, coin collector, built one of the greatest collections of the 20th century. So uh, it's it'll be interesting to see these items. Did you already talk about the piece of the mint? The piece of the first mint? No. The little wooden piece? No, I didn't. Okay, there's gonna be a an actual like chip of the original United States mint. Like the beam, like one of the one of the wood beams in, in, in the ceiling of the original mint. Yeah. Um, a, a section of that had splintered off and, and Eric Newman uh, had preserved it as part of his collection. What's uh, that worth? Uh, Jeez. I, I think even that alone was going for over $10,000 right now as far oh, as- Oh, no kidding. I was gonna say thousands, but yeah, yeah. apparently we gotta step it up a little bit. So we're, we're super excited to see what happens at the auction here. Thanks for joining us, guys. Make sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and of course, subscribe on YouTube here. We do have a contest going on right now with a giveaway for a Vienna Philharmonic Silver Coin. John, why don't you tell us a little bit about that? So hopefully you guys caught the last show on the Vienna Philharmonic. Uh, to enter the show, make sure you subscribe on YouTube. Make sure you tag a friend on Instagram. You can direct message us your email address. We have a newsletter coming out, so you'll get an extra entry uh, for that email address. And what else do we have? Okay, so you can also tag a friend on an Instagram post. Right. You can share any of our social media content on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. I don't know if you can do that on YouTube, but if you can, that's another way to do it. And we're gonna put it all on the screen here for you guys to see as well. So we're missing a few things that I'd imagine. Yeah, but, but there's no limit. You tag 100 friends, you get 100 entries uh, in one of our posts. So just, just go ahead and do any of those that, that you feel like. And uh, thank you so much for joining us. We love the attention. Thanks for your likes and comments. And please don't forget to subscribe uh, on the video here. All right, guys. Thanks for joining us. Until next time. Okay. Shh. <laughs>